Hi everyone, it's Will here at Prozo Music. Uh, just bringing you a little video today on one of the most commonly asked questions, why should I upgrade my student trumpet? Uh, most people will begin on an entry level instrument, probably costing somewhere in the region of 200 pounds to 250 pounds. We have a couple of great examples at Prozo and we sell the Bark Elkhart and the Phil Parker Series 1 and they do a fantastic job. Uh, get the kids going really well, nothing wrong with them at all. Uh, but around about grade five standard, they start to get to the point where possibly they will hold the player back. Um, things that may be causing this would be valve action, which might be a little more clunky than on a more expensive instrument, uh, tuning and intonation. So, you know, even the basic CC octave might be not quite bang on. And then the next octave, C to top C, Often we find that the higher register can be a little more challenging on the cheaper trumpets, uh, both tuning wise and uh, they can be a little more resistant, so it's harder to get the air through. Um, this can be a benefit for an absolute beginner because you know they want that resistance to give them something to blow against when their embouchure is not yet developed. But as the player becomes stronger, you can benefit from a trumpet that has a bigger feel. That can even uh, be as much as having a different bore size in the instrument. Some of the student ones can be quite a tight bore, uh, but actually it's more due often to just better engineering across the instrument, uh, which will lead to a bigger and more free blowing sound. Um, and as the repertoire becomes harder, the student needs that help. So when they're just learning with the little tuner day book or abracadabra brass, you know, it's not very complex and an inexpensive instrument will suffice. But once the notes come quicker, uh, more fluidity is needed across the instrument and across the range as it takes into the higher and lower registers. So at that point, around grade five, we would recommend an upgrade from the entry level instrument. Uh, we have uh, a good selection here at Prozo Music to choose from and the budget would run from um, around about £550 through to £1,000. Um, that's really the kind of target price we're looking for. And within that, you get a lot of choice. And obviously the top end of the budget will get you something of a more professional standard than maybe the, the £500 mark. Um, so we've got a few instruments to look at here. First of all is the, the Bark Elkhart we mentioned, so your student instrument. And we'll demo that for you in just a minute. But it, uh, you know, it does a good job. But if we hear it, you'll hear that the sound is maybe a little thin um, and the valve action isn't quite as good as on some of the more expensive instruments. So let's hear that one first. So it's a very basic exercise um, and I'm finding that the valves, whilst they're actually really efficient and work well for a trumpet of this level, the change between the notes is a little bit clunky. Sometimes I'm not quite getting into the slot of the next note, so there's a little bit of blurring between the notes. And I can hear that the sound itself is a little bit bright and edgy, which, you know, if I wanted to be uh, well received, I'd probably want to get something a little bit richer and darker in the sound. Something that you might end up playing as an advanced student might be like the first movement of the Haydn Trumpet Concerto. That does a fine job. A couple of little clips there from me, leaving those in. I think I would have found it easier on a slightly better instrument. The sound feels narrow and the note slots feel quite small. So it's not easy for me to fill the instrument with air without it kind of becoming overpowered and possibly leading to a few splits and splats along the way. Um, so with this instrument, I think it's fine. I think it's good for the level it was purchased at, but as a trumpeter, I'm looking for something that allows me to use more air without getting so aggressive in sound and that is easier to transition between the notes when playing fast. Okay, so now let's go on to look at one of our most popular upgrades and actually what we would say is the least expensive instrument that will happily go through to the grade eight standard. Doesn't mean you have to take grade eight on it, but it means that there'll be no holding the player back up to that point. Um, and that's the BNS Prodige trumpet. It's a relatively new model, came out earlier this year. It's available in two different specifications. This is a reverse lead pipe, and we also have the standard lead pipe option. 
What that means is that on the reverse lead pipe, we'll see that the lead pipe goes in to the tuning slide, like such. Whereas on a standard lead pipe, you would see that the tuning slide will go in to the lead pipe. What this does is create a slightly more free blowing feel, the air travels without the extra resistance of meeting a tube, and generally the instrument feels lighter and more vibrant. So possibly more suited to a player who's um, either not quite as strong and not as um, you know, powerful, that kind of lighter weight feel will allow them to sound brighter for less effort. Um, also, if someone's more interested in the jazz and the lead trumpet side of the game, then that could be a good option for them. We would say the standard lead pipe trumpet is often suited to a classical kind of player. Uh, it can have a more solid feel and gives a little bit more resistance to blow against, which can help with some of the quieter dynamics particularly. Um, so let's hear the BNS trumpet in the reverse lead pipe format, and then we'll hear it in the standard lead pipe format. To be fair, I'm just doing the same exercise I did on the Alcart. Actually, took me a second to get into it because the sound is broader, the note slots are wider, and so I started off a little high in the note and then managed to drop in there. Certainly, the vowels are slicker, the note slots it joins the notes much more easily, and I can already feel that the sound is broader, more broad. <laughs> adjusting to the trumpet but certainly exactly what I expect it's a bigger feel the sound is darker not sure whether you can hear that on the phone mic but it certainly does have a little bit more richness to it it's still bright I'd expect that this is the reverse lead pipe model um, but for a player who's maybe coming towards grade five doesn't have you know not fully developed yet this would be a very good choice because the brightness in the sound is going to allow them to carry in the school band um, and be heard we'll also have a quick look at the other instrument in this range which is the standard lead pipe trumpet, which we mentioned in the introduction, but we'll see that on this instrument, the tuning side leg goes in to the main tuning slide. That means that the air will meet a point of resistance here, creating turbulence in the tube. It's not a bad thing, it's an option. This one we call standard, this one we call reversed. This one should provide me with a little bit more resistance to blow against. So it's another nice playing trumpet. It is more resistant. For me, actually, I think I prefer the reverse lead pipe. I felt I had to back off that one a little bit more. I could feel the resistance in the tube. But for the budget of 595, this is a great option. You can tell how well it's made and uh, all the finishing is superb. It's got a really great look to it. Also, they come with a very nice case, um, which is a BNS case, which has backpack straps. It's very lightweight and durable. So all in all, we feel this for the budget is a great option and probably your best bet, um, you know, as the least expensive instrument going towards grade eight. So I hope you could hear the difference there between the BNS trumpets and the Alcarts. We are just recording on a phone because we just nipped into one of our testing rooms to make this video quickly. Um, the BNS trumpet sells at 595. Uh, its retail price is near 700, so that's a, a good discount we're offering on that product. It's on sale at the moment. Uh, we have plenty in stock. We also have the instrument available in silver plate. There is a cost increase for silver plate. At this level, we don't really believe that silver plate makes a big difference to the tone color but it will make a difference to the longevity of the finish. So there's a little bit more investment up front, but you will find that a silver plated trumpet will maybe in five or 10 years still look relatively new, especially if uh, it's cleaned. Um, whereas a lacquer trumpet will inevitably lose some of its shine. That's because all the trumpets are made of a polished brass, 
Um, with a lacquer finish, we then have a spray lacquer over the top, a kind of clear varnish. And that over time will inevitably become scratched and worn, does not affect the way the instrument sounds or plays. It's just a cosmetic thing. Whereas with silver plate, we have the polished brass and then silver plate is added, which is obviously a metal on top of the brass, which is going to be more durable. In addition to the BNS range of trumpets, we also have other brands such as Yamaha. Phil Parker make a very nice Series 2 instrument. Um, Shargle is another brand we do a lot of business with. Um, and then at the top end of the initial budget we spoke to, you get the BNS Challenger 1 trumpet, which is um, a very popular instrument for us, just over a thousand pounds, but German made, and really it blows so close to a top end professional trumpet. So we find that if people are maybe past grade five and they delayed that upgrade, that can be a really good option. It, you know, to spending that extra bit of money, you're getting something uh, European made of a very professional standard. So the Challenger one from BNS also a very good option. So I hope that's been helpful. We will try and produce another video soon with a review of all of the intermediate trumpets. But for now, that's just a brief insight into why it may be worth spending some money if your child or you yourself are coming up to around grade five on your student instrument. Thanks for listening.